So usually I wear this hat whenever I'm doing my business account video, but I'm outside again. It's sometime in the evening. I don't fucking know. Um, truth of the matter is I've been feeling a very, very disillusioned these days, mostly about my career. I went to school for eight years, got a master's degree in clinical mental health counseling at a KCREP accredited school that was Walden University. I don't know if they have their KCREP accreditation anymore. I went there, I worked hard, very hard, graduated. I mean, that was after I had to find my own internship, you know, because that's not, it's not like they were gonna help me, you know? I'm not a social worker, we don't, we don't get placed. Us licensed mental health counselors, us mental health counselors even, we don't get placed. We have to be told, you have to go look for it like you're looking for a job. So we already know what the fuck a job hunt feels like from the get-go. I mean, I've known that for years because I went back to school in my 30s or when I turned 30. So I know that I'm babbling a lot in this, but the reason I'm talking about it is because I'm trying to find a position where it's salaried, but the positions I find for clinical mental health counselors that are salaried are positions where it's not really salaried. It's an underhanded fee for service. So like they say, oh, your salary could be 90K a year. Then they'll say, but wait, you know, you have to reach a certain incentive. What that means is they want you to have a shit ton of clients, is what it means. To the point of burnout, if you want to make that much money. That's not fair. That's not why I went to school. I don't know about other therapy therapists. I don't know about other clinicians. But I went to school not to be a salesperson. I went to school to be a therapist. Now, I get it with my own practice. I had to sell myself, and I did. And while it was okay, I still wasn't making a lot of money. I'm hearing from these other people making $400 a session. I'm like, what are you doing? You know, these people probably have big group, you know, businesses. It was just me, myself, and I in a telehealth. It, it, me, myself, and I on a computer screen, okay? I, it wasn't in person. And, but I know that I was doing good work. I know that I'm a good therapist. I don't, I mean, I'm not being arrogant. I just know that I, I mean, from things that I've experienced from clients, I know that I, that if they do the work, they're gonna be even better for it. Apparently that's not enough to get a really good salary without having to chase some stupid underhanded fee for service incentive. How many clinicians are actually going through this? Now I'm gonna be posting this also on my business account because I, I need to ask a question to clinicians. How many of you are actually going through a thing where they tell you you have this great salary with benefits and then they say, oh, by the way, you have to reach this incentive to actually make that salary. This is after, you know, you know what I mean? This is like, if you felt like you had to burn yourself out just to make a salary that is sustainable enough for you to have a life, but you can't even have that much of a life because of that incentive, then it's not a salary. It's fee for service. And they're just making it seem like it's a salary. A salary is you make that much no matter fucking what. You come to work, you work eight hours a day, you go home. That's your salary. It shouldn't be you're gonna make this much because you have to chase an incentive and you might not even make your salary. That's very unfair. I find that to be kind of, I feel kind of swindled by that actually. And I wouldn't be surprised, surprised if other clinicians do. Also, with that much of an incentive to try and keep your salary, when do you have the time to think about the, cl the clients that you're working with, that you're help guiding into healing? You don't because you're too busy freaking thinking about that incentive. It's just not right. I, I think I'm, I, I'm like totally against them at this point. If you want to say, if you're advertising that you're willing to pay a nice salary to therapists, just to, you know, where they're, it's actually a traditional good salary, like 75 and up, 75K and up, right? Then that's what it should be. And there shouldn't be an incentive we have to chase. We've worked hard enough, okay? Give us a salary. We are damn good at what we do. We don't need to chase more clients for you. We don't. That's your job. That's your job, corporate businesses, not ours. Okay? And it's got to be consistent. Nine to five is good for me. And clients who get the nine to five slots are the same clients I'll be dealing with every week on those slots. I'm not going to change a slot for because somebody didn't show up and I'm going to put somebody in unless that person is going to show up next week. Like if they say I can't make it, then I'm like, okay, I have a cancellation. But if it's going to be some shit where, oh, well, you could fit them in like this, like this, like this, it's not helping clients and it's certainly not helping the therapists. It's burning the therapists out. More, these places have high turnovers, by the way. I'm learning to read reviews. I would suggest all of you clinicians read the reviews on Indeed. Read what people are saying. They're telling the truth. Okay? So, obviously I'm frustrated and scared and worried about having to change my entire fucking career over this. 
I don't want to because I love what I do. I love being a therapist. But it's very disillusioning when I'm reminded every day that my finances are so bad and my husband's the one paying for everything when he shouldn't have to. This is, I mean, he's the one who, he's doing a hell of a lot better than me and he doesn't have a degree. Meanwhile, I'm in a, I have a, a master's degree in a, in a position where people really do need help but shouldn't give me enough jobs with good, freaking sustainable salary and I'm making nothing. So I'm a little angry right now and I will never go back to my own practice because the IRS likes to fuck people who are only making 40K a year up the ass without lube by stealing that much, like maybe 9K, that's what they took from my husband. 9k because it was my business so i'm fucking pissed and end of rant so if any other clinicians have been going through this please comment i don't think i'll get a comment because i never get a comment but if i do please give me a comment about this thanks bye